Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today we're going for a test drive in a 1967 AMC wagon. This one here has the believed to be 343 under the hood. Here's the fan shroud, power steering. Looks like they put some new brake accessories on here. Fairly new. We do got a leaky valve cover on this side. I see a little burst of smoke every once in a while. It's just a seal. Fairly original car here. We're gonna be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos every day, or at least I try to. Sometimes weather comes in and knocks me down for a few days. The back window does roll up and down. I went ahead and rolled it down so we could peek in here. I'm not sure what that is. We'll check that out in the walk around video. And it does work good. Power window. Go on over to maplemotors.com. I have finance and shipping available, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. Also, a close to 100 detailed pictures of this ride inside out and underneath. And we're going to be doing a walk around video separate. It'll be located the last 30 seconds of this video. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. So before we take off down the road, we're gonna look around the interior, kind of check everything out. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We'll be trying it out in a moment. Show you the mileage on the dash. It's hard to stand behind mileage because anything can be changed out since 67. And start it up. When it's cold, it's a little bit cold natured. It's hard to start. But once it's warm, it starts up every time. It runs great. Wipers, working good. Uh, we're gonna check the gas gauge. It's on E right now. I do know that the temperature gauge is not working. I've had this car running for about five minutes or so. It should be coming up. Radio's on and it's not working. dash is in pretty good shape so does the interior the seats look clean they're not ripped up i got my gear back there the panels are in good shape same with the headliner and that back window rolls up and down fast i can go ahead and show you real quick so there's it rolling down and then coming back up everything else is crank up here Okay, let's hit the road. Anything that I see, I will let you know what about the horn. You ready? It does work. Let's take off. Okay, guys, so we're going to take off down the road. Any flaws that I see, I will let you know. That's why I make these videos. Let's see what we got here. Steering nice and smooth right off the bat. Brakes stopping decent. Threw my bag in the floor back there with all my gear in it. If you want to know what I use to make these videos, just look below in the description. Um, I do that with every video. Oh, yeah. Going on a family vacation. second there got a little bit of power as we're riding down the road i noticed it's pulling to the left there's a guy behind me in the left lane so i didn't want to let go of the steering wheel just yet go ahead and pull over to the right here let go of it it is pulling to the left speedometer's coming up but it's not exactly correct Brights work good on this one, I don't believe. Kickdown is hooked up. It is. She got up. Turn signals. I hear them clicking, but they're not pop the right one's not popping up on the dash. But I do hear it clicking. I think we have a bad bulb by the dash here. The left one is working. 
I'm not sure on the gas gauge, so we're gonna pull in here, get about $20 worth of premium fuel, and keep this test drive going. I tell you what, I didn't even check to see which side the gas cap was on. I'm gonna assume the driver's side. But to find out. Okay, let's get some fuel. So we're sticking about $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride up at the gas station. I always put the best gas in every one of the cars that come through the lot. I try to at least. But we're gonna check the gas gauge after we hit $20 here. And we'll see if it's working. Okay, so uh, the gas gauge was on dead E. Let's see if anything changes. Looks like our gas gauge is broke. It's not moving, but we know we got some fuel in here now. If that moves throughout the test drive, I will let you know. Let's hit the road. Okay, she's running nice and smooth. We're gonna head on back to the lot. This time, reverse, and let's check it. Reverse here, right here. Neutral, drive. So when you, when you put it in drive, it's still sitting on neutral on the gauge. That's why when I pulled it down to D, it was in two when we first took off. This time we're taking off in drive, listen to the transmission. And I hate to do this, but I want the clear road, so we're gonna go ahead and jump out in front of these guys. Oh, my seat reclined on me. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. There we go. She had so much power that I leaned back. I was playing with that adjustment right before we left, and I didn't push the lever back down. It's nice and secure now. She's got a smooth ride on her. Still pulling to the left a little bit. Definitely a fan of station wagons. I think they're really cool. They're different from everything else on the road. And I remember being a kid and sitting in that very back seat. I loved it. I actually took it um, right out of high school. I took a station wagon to spring break in Florida. And all my friends loved it too. We were just riding down the main strip down there in Panama. It was great. Heading down this road, 
since the snowstorm came through i don't know what happened to my speed bump but it's pretty much flat now right here so i'm gonna have to do something about that i gotta find me a new bump we're right around the corner from the lot Be sure to watch the walk around video on this one. Points out any kind of flaws. That way you know what you're getting here. All right. I'm gonna pull over here, I think. <laughs> we'll get lined up next to this fox body. I wouldn't mind having it myself. And we'll make a video here in a moment. Walking around this car, pointing out any kind of flaws. I appreciate y'all riding with me.